First and foremost, I am a notoriously slow painter. A model a day would be a lightning fast pace for me. But part of the reason I started this channel was to experiment and to challenge myself, so... Here goes nothing. <laughs> My name is Nathaniel, this is Punic Painting, and today I'll be trying speed painting for the very first time. I've been cooking up an idea for a crew of dirty, desert-dwelling religious zealots for Stargrave. A fun chance to play around with the more psychic-slash-magic mechanics in the game. One that might feel familiar for those who watched my old Space Raiders video. So after looking online, I found these fabulous minis that didn't need much work to get ready. Which is great considering if I'm doing a rough and ready paint job, I'd rather it not be on minis I spent hours converting. I made sure to limit my paint palette down to a few select high impact colors and started up my test model, trying to paint as fast as I could for preparation. I started with my scheme's main colors, a transparent green to hopefully take advantage of the zenithal and a light brass to serve as an accent color. I filled in the rest of the metallics with a basic bright silver. I then went with a pop of red to serve as a spot color for wax seals and a few cloth wrappings around the model. With a few washes of a very thin brown for the leathers, I had my model finished, and uh, I didn't care for it at all. Something about it just didn't feel right. I fiddled around a bit trying to figure out what it was I didn't like, but in the end I just called it. I stripped the mini down and reprimed it for painting. I tried out a few new paint combos and some techniques and ended up with something I liked a lot more. It's always easy to get disheartened when things aren't quite turning out like you had in mind, but it's, it's only paint after all. You can always come back for a fresh start with a clean slate. So with my test model completed, now comes the hard part. 13 other members of the crew. I started my timer and got to work. This was a new and stressful experience. The ticking clock really makes me think about every little second I was spending. It was the exact opposite of my usual relaxed painting vibe, and it shows. Sloppy paint and broken resin pieces abounded with this project. In my own experience, I had clocked this to be about an hour and a half long experience, and I was greatly mistaken. After the timer had hit two hours of furious non-stop brushing, my will had completely depleted. I was just wanting to get these things done. I slapped on some sand color for the bases and slathered the model in brown wash and called it done at 2 hours, 43 minutes, and 19 seconds. Well past my estimation. So let's see if it was worth all the stress and look at our new crew. This was a challenge for me. I don't think I'm going to be cracking any speed records anytime soon, and some of these guys look pretty rough. But it was an enlightening experience that gave me a whole new appreciation for those who can actually do this. I think I'll be sticking to my slow and steady style for now, though. As always, if you like what you saw, a like and subscribe will be greatly appreciated. It's always a real motivator to see the channel growing and hearing people enjoying the content, so thanks so much for watching, and until next time. Have a good one.